year What's next for you future farm techs of America? A little lesson on some pharmacy law The history of pharmacy law Might be important down the road, you never know But there's a lot to know in pharmacy law Let me enlighten you, the problem is solved I'll be reciting a few Here was the Pure Food and Drug Act of 1906 Cause people were abusing things and people got sick It would prohibit in the state transportation The sale of misbranded adulterated drugs But it failed Then the Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act of 38 came FDC, pay attention to the date change Manufacturers file a new drug application With the newly formed Food and Drug Administration And in order for the FDA to approve them, the drugs must be proven safe for humans. Amongst other things, the checklist defines one of the most important acts of all time. I'm inclined next to tell you how the legend begun. The Rum Humphrey Amendment 1951. This established distinction between OTC drugs and prescription. Legend OG drugs. Now we see drugs on different sides of the shop. Some are next to the candy and pop. So there's a lot the Rum Humphrey had to do with that. You need prescription. Prescriptions for drugs that are kept in the back Hip Hop for Harris Amendment 1962 An extension of the FDC Act is true You have to prove your drug is not only safe but effective Manufacturers could not be reckless Gotta file investigational drug apps with the FDA INDA then the NDA what do we say? Kef off for Harris, the father of effectiveness to be fair is 1970. Yep, we had so comprehensive drug abuse prevention and control. Control Substances Act, CSA, to keep the hard drugs out of junkies' face. To limit the dependence and drug abuse and risk. The DEA cuffs, hugs a few. Cause yes, the DEA watches scheduled drugs. If you're messing around with those, catch a federal slug. This act set the schedules one through Five. Back in 1970 when hippies thrived Did I mention that same year it hit the map? The Poison Prevention Packaging Act That's the one about the child resistant caps Protects your young kid that still sits in crap Now with all these drugs for the FDA to keep track Along came the Drug Listing Act It was 72, if the truth be told We came up and down with the National Drug Code As far as characters go, it consists of 10 You check the NDC before it hits the bin in 1983, the Orphan Drug Act for the Rare Disease was put in place to encourage making of rare drugs. The Orphan Drug Act was embraced with bear hugs. Drug price competition and patent term. Restoration Act, it's a fact to learn. 84 was the year and cost was the cause. This helped out a system that's chock full of flaws. Cause we need more generics to hit the shelves and bring down the prices for everyone else. And then in 87, the Miracle came, I hit you with the spiritual, more lyrical name. Prescription Drug Marketing Act, psych, I gotcha. It's simple, it's about samples, it's proper. You can't even hand out Sam's to your papa or Gramps unless you are a licensed prescriber and the manufacturer is sole survivor. The only one to re import drugs with a driver. Let's get live up with over 90. So patients aren't taking their meds to bed blindly. Over 90 address the need to counsel all patients on meds indeed. Ha. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on.